Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Recently I've done some reviews on a couple of stoves from the company Bulin, which had a lot of different burners. One of them had three burners, one I think had five burners, but why have three or five when you can have nine burners? Now look, as we start off, I'll tell you, I consider this a novelty stove. It's not something you would probably use at home, but it's just freaking cool. I do want to read to you guys a description, both on Amazon and AliExpress. I printed it off here for you guys to read it before I show you the actual stove. Here we go. Words like collapsible design, space saving, convenient to store, and my favorite, quote, with a carry case, you can take the ultralight stove set anywhere for backpacking, camping, or hiking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to move this back a little bit. There we go. So I don't know what the ZYZY -Y is, but the company that makes this is Tom Shoe. You can see that it comes with a huge and very nice case. Open this thing up. Holy moly, right guys? Okay, let's pull this thing out, all right. Underneath, we'll just show you real quick. It's got some very nice, big, beefy feet. Feet have rubberized grips on them, so that's pretty nice. Flip this around. Like other pretty powerful stoves that I've checked out, this has a four foot long uh, hose for your gas. You do not want the gas anywhere near this thing. You want it nice and far away. Dimensions are 7.8 by 7.8 by 5.1. It weighs 4.2 pounds, or 68 ounces made out of stainless steel, puts out 12,800 watts, and as, like I said, it has a 40 inch gas hose. It can be used with butane or propane, it comes with the butane attachment, but you can just get a propane uh, adapter if you need it. it. Has nine, as you see, nine individual burners, which is pretty impressive. The price on AliExpress is $65, on Amazon it's $100 or more, I've seen it up to 120. Um, you can see it's got pretty nice pot stands. There are limitations, and of course you really wouldn't want to use something too small, but something like the Tokes fits right in the center of it. You're gonna need something fairly big for this. In fact, we'll probably have to just use a regular kitchen uh, pot to, to test it out on. But really well made. Very, very powerful. We will probably do our testing of this outside. Let me show you guys what the flame pattern looks like uh, in the dark and then we're gonna boil up a liter of water as well as two cups and see what we get as far as boil times. Not gonna lie guys, almost a little nervous of this thing. I mean, it is such a beast. Let's turn it on. The other times when I've turned it on, I have to go around individually and turn on some of the uh, burners, so. Turn it down. Pretty good simmer. But none of y'all want to see this simmer, do you? gonna blow up or something <laughs> that is awesome nine big burners they sell one with five they sell one with seven but who's gonna get five or seven when you can get nine absolutely awesome all right so let's use this monster stove I'll be honest with y'all completely honest I have just turn this thing on. I've never boiled water with it. I got so excited and I just got it in the mail. So we are boiling water for the first time. I was gonna do a two cup and a four cup bowl test, but I'm just gonna do four cups or a liter basically, a little bit over four cups, because you really can't fit a, a pot small enough to really do two cups. So, so we're gonna do just a liter bowl test and uh, we're gonna measure how much fuel is used, which I'm sure is gonna be tons. So let's see what we get. Thank you. 
guys, we are boiling. We are boiling big time. It is two minutes. Uh, let me stop it there. Two minutes, two seconds. It's boiling. It's not uncommon with these bigger pot, with these bigger stoves, for it to boil before it actually gets to 212. Um, I actually had to be careful there that um, whew, that these sides didn't melt. It's got little plastic caps here, but it did not melt. Uh, I feel like um, I just witnessed like an incineration or something. But two minutes, two seconds for one liter of water to a boil. Whew. Let me measure some fuel. So in case you're wondering, two minutes, two seconds, 30 grams of fuel, 30 grams of fuel to boil one liter in two minutes, two seconds. So really, I mean, seriously guys, how cool is this stove? It's huge. It's, it's almost like a, like a jet engine. I know what you're thinking, is this even useful? I mean, of course it's useful, as long as you think about it right. Uh, I disagree with their statements that it's ultra light. It's certainly not going in my backpack, but it's great for emergencies. It gives you a lot of different options, and the firepower, as far as the BTUs, lends itself to some pretty interesting things. It's good for car camping, it's good for emergencies, it's good for cooking with a wok. If you're using a wok, you really need to get the BTUs up there to get stir-fry temperature. In an emergency, sometimes you'll have meat, say a steak that you need to cook. And it's not easy to cook steak over a propane grill, for example, or some kind of a flame, unless it's super hot. You need to sear those juices in. Well, this allows you to do it. You combine this particular stove with a cast iron pan and you can make the perfect steak, but you're also gonna make a lot of smoke. Oftentimes during emergencies, we've had recent uh, episodes with the hurricanes and the ice storm where I've had to pull out my propane stoves to cook. And a lot of times they're not the most powerful. They're not as good, for example, as my induction cooktop or my old gas burner that I had at my old house. Those really put out the BTUs. Something like this allows you to continue to cook the way you normally do. I cook over pretty high heat very frequently. I'm just used to it. I'm able to do that with this stove and cook the way I normally do even when the power's out. I also like it because you can use either propane or butane. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves, including all those other beasts of a stove that I thought were beasts, but really weren't, because this is the beast. If you want to check those out, check the playlist down below and up in the cards as well. Well over 100 videos on my stove playlist at this point. If you like the video, guys, if you like it, hit the thumbs up down below. Look, this thing wasn't cheap, and I did it for you guys. I did it for y'all. Hit that thumbs up for me if you don't mind. If you're not subscribed and you found us because of this crazy stove, make sure you check out the playlist and hit that subscription button and make sure you don't miss any videos. If you want to be notified when I release videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. Really appreciate you guys checking out this channel. I have a lot of fun with these stoves. If you know of a bigger propane stove than this one, please make sure you leave it down below. I want to get the biggest, most ridiculous, stupidest, craziest propane stove I can get. You know. A backpacking stove like this not obviously something for the kitchen something portable that's what I want to get if you got one leave it down below as always guys I appreciate you checking out the paleo hiker MD channel stay tuned for more videos soon